Okay guys, so here we are my 3DS. I'll try and keep the camera quality as best as possible, but I haven't got the actual recording equipment to film my 3DS screen. But anyway guys, the first route I'm going to be showing you on is Route 3. This is exactly where I caught my shiny Gyarados, as you can see right here. So yeah guys, I'll just show you exactly where you need to be heading. So guys, once you have flown to Santalone City, what you want to be doing is heading straight down, which is straight down version to Route 3. Route 3 is only a short way and you don't really need to go in any patches of grass either. Now here on the left hand side you'll see a small pond. This is the all lit patch of water on Route 3 so it shouldn't be too hard to miss. Make sure you've got yourself a Pokemon with Surf obviously and something like Octolirio or Inky which you can have first in your party um, which has got suction cups on it. Now I usually have some kind of Max Repellent or something like that. I don't know if I have right now. Let's see if it's okay to fish here, guys. And there you go, guys. That's the first starting off in your chain. Uh, you want to fish as close up as you can towards the area. Uh, towards the banking. And here you can catch with your Super Rod, Sea Kings, Gyarados, Crowdunks, with your gold, Good Rod. Golden Corfish and with your old rod Magic Corp. So you know what you're wanting if you want in a guaranteed kind of Pokemon. Um, I'm just going to run away from this. Sorry if my hand's getting in the way guys. But it's just the way I recorded set this up. So yeah guys that's uh, how I caught my Gyarados. The next route I will be heading to is Route 19. So again I'll see you there guys. So the next area guys, as I said, is Route 19 that I'm going to be heading to next. This is where I caught myself a Poliwag. Now I aim to go and get myself a Poliwag with the old rod so I could turn it into a Poliwrath myself. Um, so yeah guys, so I'm going to be heading there. I'll see you shortly. So guys, once you're off uh, at Coraway Town, what you want to be doing is heading straight down. And I will use myself another Super Repel just in case anything decides to jump up on me. Going straight down here, you can get on it the other way from Snowbell City, but it is much quicker getting this way, and I don't even know, I think I'm going the wrong way right here. Sorry guys. Yeah, you want to be going through this entrance here. Straight down here. And I personally haven't seen many other people use this route. Um, maybe just uh, me, but... And Super Repel for some reason in the water just doesn't seem to uh, <laughs> doesn't seem to get rid of them. Get rid of this, guys. Don't want to be fighting a Slagu, do we now? So what you want to do is be surfing in the water. I'll be using my Samrot again, and right here where these two logs are. Um, it's a really good fishing location because it's an enclosed area make sure again you get yourself the right fishing spot and I reeled in too slow I'm trying to just do both things at once guys here but there we go and again that's how you start yourself a fishing chain on route 19 and here you can get yourself your polywhirls, your polywag, barboach, whisk, with eh Wikash, I can't even say the Pokemon's name, and Politoed as well. Some of them are really hard to come across, but again, try your luck, guys. You may come across something that you're interested in. I definitely wanted to get myself a shiny Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and then Poliwrath. And I could even have the option to turn it into a Politoed anyway. So, guys, the next route that I will be heading to is Route 21. So, let's again see you there, guys. Now guys, from Route 21, I was looking towards trying to get myself a Dratini or maybe a Basklin or even a Dragonair, although they're all really rare Pokemon. Instead, I ended up getting myself another Poliwhirl, but hey ho, I could have a Poliwrath and a Politoed now, or I could even trade it for something. I'm not, never going to complain about a Shiny, guys. So yeah, I got myself a Shiny Poliwhirl from the area, so I'll show you exactly where it is, guys. So what you want to do, guys, is be flying to Snowbell City. As soon as you get here, you want to be going down here. Make sure you're going up, not down, because down will send you to the Pokemon Village route. Again, I will use myself a Super Repel, even though they seem completely useless in the freaking water. <laughs> and down here, guys, and this will be the way leading you to Route 21. 
Now don't forget as well, like I said, if you are wanting different Pokemon, you can be using your different rods. I purposely used my old rod to catch my Poliwag in the previous one. So it's completely up to you guys. You're going to be surfing in this patch of water here. Hopefully nothing will come up on it. And as you see, there's three rocks down here. Um, really good at getting a closed off area. Make sure you're just in the right vicinity. I don't know why I reeled in so fast again. I'm really messing up on this. My second fail of this video. There we go. And again, this really good closed off area. If you can get yourself lucky to get yourself a dragon air, then bygone guys, honestly, it'd be really cool. But yeah, if you can get yourself with your good rod, you can get a Basque and Dratini Poliwhirl, but some of them will pop up even with your Super Rod, because the only thing you can get with a Super Rod is Dragonair in that area. So, yeah guys, this is what you can get from this area. I got myself my Shiny Poliwhirl. The next area that we're going to be heading to is Route L Lower. Route L Lower? Route 8 Lower, sorry. So yeah guys, I'll see you there. So using the route I'm about to show you guys, this is what I caught. I caught myself a shiny Dragolg. Again, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, didn't it, it took quite a lot longer, I'm not going to lie, than it did the other ones. But this is literally a game of chance, in no matter where your fish spots. Um, so guys, I'll go, again, I'll show you where it is. So as soon as you've flown yourself to Ambret Town, what you want to be doing is heading into the little aquarium place. This is, by the way, where you can get yourself your old rod, I believe it is. And, oh, look, a shiny gold magic carp. I believe that is, anyway. So, this will be Route 8 that you want to be heading on to. Now, what you want to do is head straight down here. And I will use myself another Max Repel. And there's these three rocks here. Now, this can be a little bit of a... Uh, take a chance area kind of thing. It paid off for me using it and personally I've had no problem really using it. But you could fish anywhere around these rocks really. I fish usually close to this first rock here. The far left rock, that might have not been a great example of where I just threw my rod in but again you can get yourself a decent chain here again. Um, well you can get a chain anywhere guys in the sea and in the uh, surfing end of the day on Pokemon but there's certain areas obviously which are a bit more closed in which are supposedly meant to be better I've tried and tested all these areas and as I'm showing you I've got shinies from each one of these areas the only last area that I'm going to show you is the area that I haven't got a shiny but again I know it's a tried and tested area so from this area guys you can get yourself your Quillfish, you can get your Claw it's uh, on Pokemon Z, uh, X, Z? maybe guys you never know on Pokemon X, uh, Dragolg on Pokemon Y, Cloyster on Y, Stormy on X, Strelp Y, Clonsha X, Shelder and Staryu on, you, you get the versions because it's going down in evolution. So yeah guys, that's my uh, Route 8 lower. Now I'm going to show you my final area guys. Now I'm going to usually pause the video but I'm not going to this time because You've probably seen this area a lot of times by other YouTubers, and I'm going to show it you anyway, because again, I know it's a decent area. Um, this is where I first started chain fishing. I'm not going to lie, when I first started chain fishing, I got pretty bored of it. But I decided to stick it out, and once I've got myself my first shiny, it becomes a little addiction. You know, you can't stop wanting to go and get yourself more shinies. So yeah, you've probably seen this area, guys. It's just, like I said, lower where I've just shown you from at Route 8. It's still classed as Ambret Town. Now, there's these two little rocks here. If you create yourself a big enough gap here. Oh, didn't do that for you. You can fish straight down here, guys. And you can catch very similar Pokemon, to be honest with you, here at Ambret Town. You can catch yourself your Dragol Claw. It's, uh... Uh, Relegumph, Seedra, Seedra's only got like a 5% chance of actually appearing in this area. Uh, Screlp, Clauncher if you're on Poke uh, Pokemon X, Screlp on Y, and then Horsey and Love Disc. And hey, who doesn't want a shiny Love Disc? Oh uh, dear. So yeah guys, they're my top 5 areas that I've actually got all the... Uh, Pokemon, all my shinies from. I actually got another shiny as well, I got a shiny Sea King from Route 3 that I didn't actually show you. Any other tips I've got, guys, is just be patient with this. Honestly, it is a really tried and tested method, and it does work. But honestly, I've had a Pokemon show up at 42 goes. 
because 40 is your max that you can go before it starts giving you um, any more better better luck. Uh, and I've gone up to near enough 160 odd. So it is really about luck and chance. But put it this way, right? I got all these shinies in one day. I'm not kidding you. And it just it just does take patience and it uh So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope these spots do help you out. If it does rain, then unlucky for you. <laughs> Not that the rain affects anything different. Remember that you can use all your different rods. Remember that you've got to keep yourself a Pokemon with Suction Cup's ability at the front. And by the way, guys, a little tip. Majority of these Pokemon can all be caught with an Ultra Ball. Not many of them need to actually have any damage taken to them. So if you've got any Pokemon on you too strong, usually I've got my level 100 Luc Lucario on me. And I don't usually carry around many Pokemon that are like under leveled kind of thing so if you've got any pokemon on you that are real high level you're frightened of killing it just throw an ultra ball at it or even if straight off bat throw a quick ball at it because majority of time well i have caught all these pokemon without actually having to damage any of them um even even the shiny uh poly were level 50 so you can throw you can throw an ultra ball and the only one i'd probably is going to be hard to catch with an ultra ball straight off bat Without doing damage, Pokemon that's going to be like stuff like Dragon Air. You might have a problem with things like that, so you might want to do a bit of damage. But guys, yeah, I hope this really helped you. If you've got any other fishing spots yourself, I haven't tried all the fishing spots, you know. These are just the areas I've tried and tested myself. You can go anywhere on the game and fish and you can catch Pokemon. These are just areas that I pref personally I prefer. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give this video a like, a thumbs up. It's usually something that's a bit outside my area. But guys, again, for everything, take care and thank you for watching.